There is a huge crowd gathered in this spot at Pack Highway in Kent. And they're all here for one reason, the grand opening of the latest Dick's Burgers and the first one here in the South End. And what you're hearing in the background there is the Puget Sound Fire Pipe and Drum Corps. Of course, we'll hear more of that in just a moment as part of this grand opening ceremony.
you the man of the hour who's going to give me at least 30 seconds between when I hand him this and let me go on Facebook Live. Okay. So I'd like to add Jim Spady a huge round of applause, the president of Dick's Drive-In Restaurant. Thank you, son. Well, is it, is it okay to start to start up here? Okay, well, here we are on Facebook. Whoa, whoa, we're, we're not? Let's try this. Is that not working? No. People can't hear me? Okay, hang on. Do I need this for the Facebook Live? Wait till the airplane goes by. Okay. Just switch. Okay, switch. Okay, here we go. All right. How does this? this what do I do? Oh, Jesse. All right. All right, technical difficulties. Can people hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to talk as loud as I can. I'm Jim Spady. I'm president of Dick's Drive-In's rest Restaurants, yeah. which was founded by my dad, Dick Spady, and his two co-founders 65 years ago. And, and uh, we've come a long way in 65 years. This will be our first restaurant south of Seattle. Yeah. I love that we that uh, the introduction. Our high school bands were fantastic, and the, the firefighters pipers band was fantastic. And uh, I want to give them a quick round of applause right now. Okay, let's hear it for our high school bands and the pipers band. So 65 years ago, our first restaurant opened in uh, in Wallingford near the University of Washington, and on that day, it snowed. It was late January. <laughs> And it was, uh, they thought it was a disaster, but thank goodness the snow passed and it was fantastic. Yesterday we were here getting everything ready and it was rainy and windy and we were really worried about today. But today is a dry day and in December, I'll take that. So we're very thankful to everyone who brought us to this day, including the, the Dick's Drive-In family, all of my, my mom uh, who's here with us, my, my brothers and... Hey, I'm sorry, this is as loud as I can talk. What am I not doing? No, it's wrong. The red light's on. Try the mic again. Nobody can hear okay. you scream. All right, I'm going to... Can anybody... Is that better? Yes. yes. That's yes. better. Yes. Okay, well... Much louder. All right, I'm going to talk as loud as I can just in case the mic's not working. So thanks to everybody who brought us here, the Dick's Driving family, everybody in the family who's here today. The Schuchart uh, family, who's a, our general contractor, they built our Edmonds restaurant. This is a, a, a very similar to that. They built this for us. It was tough. It's a tough time to be building stuff, but they got it done for us. The thousands, I want to thank the thousands of people who worked for us over the years. We've had thousands of people, many of whom we've helped go to college on our, our college scholarship and advance their careers. But most importantly, I want to thank the most important people here, which is our customers. So thank you. There would be no Dick's drive-ins, and so we're so appreciative that uh, you have, have been buying burgers, fries, and shakes, and coming here to share memories and, and earn, get memories for all of these years. So I also want to thank, uh, just a quick call out to our team leaders, who, who are, are uh, uh, and you know, uh, on, and Ken, Jeannie, Marty, Kevin, Tim, Jody, Paul, Jasmine, and Saul, thank you guys so much. We wouldn't be here without all of your hard work. Thank you for, for that. And now I want to move on and talk about our VIPs, starting with uh, Kent Mayer, Dana Ralph, who's yeah. sitting there in. Yay. And, and our city council members who may be here, and, and all of the people, all of the people who are uh, uh, work at the city of Kent, they've been and they're very welcoming to us. They helped us find this spot. They helped us get through all of the, you know, it's incredibly complex to get something like this permitted and, and done. And then they got us approved and we're, we're good to go. Uh, so I also want to thank our King County Council members who are here today, including Pete von Reichbauer, uh, Dave Uppegaard, Dombrowski, are you here, Ron? Did make it. Did you make it? Okay. Did Kathy Lambert make it? No, she wasn't able to make it. Well, thank you for the council members who are here today. Appreciate it. And it's great to be in South King County and have a Dick's Drive-In here. And I want to thank the council member, all the council members who voted on a resolution on Monday, 
which, uh, which honored Dick's Drive-Ins and celebrated this. So we've got a beautiful, uh, uh, beautiful resolution which we will post on social media and everybody will get a chance to read it. Thank you, council members. We really appreciate all of your support. I'll, I'll move on. Oh, the president of Highline College. Where is he? Dr. Mosby. Okay. Yeah. So he has graciously come here today and, and uh, he uh, runs the, the wonderful university nearby college and his employees make up, most of our employees are students at Highline College and we are so grateful to the Highline College and, and, uh, and also that we had a lot of customers who, who go to school there, so we like that too. So I did want to mention, you know, Dick's Drive is not only pay the highest wages in the region for fast food uh, restaurants, but we also have a wonderful scholarship program, $25,000 for people who work for us to basically pay their way through community college, pay their way on to whatever their, whatever their destination is. You know, we are the uh, uh, low, la lowest point, uh, lowest rung in the ladder of opportunity, but that's our mission, is to help people reach their potential. But we couldn't do it without leaders like Dr. Mosby and, and, and uh, Highland Community College and all our educational leaders, because that is, that is the pathway to the future, and we just want to honor you. Thank you for being here. Representing customers are our orange ticket winners. And here's our, our we have a, our romantic. Uh, raise your ticket if you have your, your orange ticket. Raise your ticket. Yeah, there's our orange ticket. So these people competed all over the South Sound for a chance to cut the ribbon and, uh, and be the first in line today. And some of them won in a coin flipping contest, and all they had to do was come, come out, but they had to get lucky. But then there were others who had wonderful memories of Dick's driving that they wanted to share with everyone. And we posted them on Facebook. And we have uh, four of those uh, memory winners, including the best romantic memory right here. So these people were engaged to be married at a Dick's drive -in. It's really a huge story. I'll have to read about it later on Facebook. And, uh, and also people post it on Instagram. These are fun and heartwarming memories. And, and really, we're more than burgers, fries, and shakes. We're more than scholarships. We're more than a good, good job. We're about creating wonderful memories that will last a lifetime, including all of you here for today. The memory of being here at the opening day of the Kent restaurant, and it's going to be very, very soon. So, <laughs> so and now I have, have to wait a few more minutes until it's time to, to open. So I, I guess uh, I'll, I wanted to mention, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about my dad. So uh, you know, when we had the, the Star Spangled Banner, it was really uh, meaningful to me because my dad was born uh, right before World War II started, and he was basically he turned uh, 18 uh, six weeks before Pearl Harbor, and then uh, was uh, joined the Navy and was served in World War II, and he was lucky enough to come back. And the GI Bill was how he got to college. So he never could have gone to college. I get emotional, sorry. But without the GI Bill, it's a big believer in education. But that's why we have the great scholarship program, because my dad felt blessed to have the opportunity to improve himself. And he never could have done that without the GI Bill. So then he graduated from college, but he had joined Air Force ROTC. And uh, guess what happened? He graduated in 1950. The Korean War started, and he was called up. So then he was, uh, he went, he was fortunately, he was not a combat uh, soldier, he went to Japan, he worked at the air base there, but that's where he learned about uh, fast food, right, because he was in charge of feeding an air base of 10,000 people, and it was an amazing experience, and my dad used to have a word called serendipity, and serendipity is when good things happen to you unexpectedly, so obviously it was a bad thing that World War II started, and it was a bad thing that dad went to war, but on the other hand, that's where he met his future partner with whom he started the drive-in, his co-founder, Warren Gormley. It was a bad thing that the Korean War started, it was a bad thing my dad had to do that, but the good thing was he gave him an opportunity to learn, and learn how to feed lots of people. And so when he came back to the States after the Korean War, he thought, I should open a restaurant, because I don't have very much money, but I do know something about feeding lots of people. And so he, uh, he, he did that, and wrote a letter to his good buddy. My dad was born in Portland, Oregon, so my dad was in Portland. Wrote a letter to his good buddy, who was 
Uh, he would met in, in the Pacific. Is it almost time? Let's just listen to some music. Oh, we're listening to some music. Okay. While we're waiting okay. for the countdown. Uh, I'll just say real, real quick, he met his good buddy who was in the Pacific. He lived in Seattle. That's why Dick Drivers is in Seattle. <laughs> because my dad's buddy was lived in Seattle. And then it was a, a, just a great, a great experience. So we have about four minutes to go. My wife thinks I've talked enough. So uh, we're going to listen to a little music, and then we'll do a final countdown, 10, 9, 8, to, oh, and then we'll be open here at the restaurant. So thank you, everybody, for coming out today. I really appreciate it. I'll be back in a second for the final countdown. Talking to the mic. All right, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. South End Dicks. Oh, it is amazing. We are so proud that Dicks chose Kent to put their first South End restaurant. We had our community voted, got out behind this rally. You can see today, this is amazing. We could not be prouder. And I imagine it'll now be sort of a centerpiece for the community, a place people will gather. Dicks drive is iconic, and now they will be iconic in Kent, in South King County. So absolutely. We, we know the Highland College kids are going to be over here. All of it, you know, oh, very exciting. Well, and that's sort of a big deal that's uh, part of this, is not only do they have a good little customer base across the street, but some of the workers are from there as well. Oh, absolutely. This Dix reached out to all of our high schools, our colleges, and recruited over the summer because that's what they do. They take care of the people that are in the communities that they serve, and that's what makes them such a great partner. I have to ask, what's that in your hand? The official ribbon. Very good. Kent Mayor Dana Ralph, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Take them and go. <laughs> And of course, this is the man of the hour, the president of Dick's Drive-Ins, Mr. Jim Spady. Jim, what's it mean to you to open up one down in the South End? Oh, it's so, it's so exciting. You know, we've had a lot of customers had to drive from here all the way to Seattle, and, and you know they really. It's a long slog a lot of the time. So they, we had a customer poll, South versus East. South one, and so uh, we've been working on this for a year and a half. It's great to be here at opening day. Well, of course, we're all sorry about your dad's passing. What would this yeah. have meant to him? Oh yeah, dad. You know, dad lived to be 92 years old. He is an incredible person. You know, part of the can do. You know, World War II generation, and he loved. He loved making things happen. He loved building things. So I'm sure he's looking down on us and, and has a big smile on, on his face. Well, what did it mean to him to be, uh, you know, such a part of helping people and helping the community? Oh, you know, he loved helping people. You know, education was so important to him. As I said uh, earlier, you know, without the GI Bill, he's, you know, he never would have gone to college. He, he believed in the power of education. And uh, so we have this really great scholarship program because Dad wants to make sure everybody who works for us has the opportunity to reach their potential and and so you know, he, 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 he loved that part of, of what we do and but you know he also loved the burgers fries and shakes and and everything else so uh, he, he loved the business and it was you know he's dick right he, he was president uh, you know his whole life and, and he just just uh, was a an incredible person I wish I wish you were here, still here so you could interview him because he's, he's amazing I did have that privilege once and it was indeed a privilege because so many of us have memories surrounding yeah. coming to Dix don't we yeah no it Dix is more than a food company it's a, it's a memory machine right people come here they have incredible memories like this you know the opening of this restaurant, which is going to be here for probably a hundred years, right? I mean, we, our restaurant at 45th has been around for 65 years. The people have been coming there, you know, after big games, on dates, you know, celebrating this, you know, remembering that. Uh, it's 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 an amazing it's an amazing business 
that you know, revolves around a, you know, a burger, fries, and shake, but it's so much more than that. So I have to ask you, Jim, I see you're having a burger here. Yeah. We all have a favorite Dick's meal. What's yours when you come through? Well, my, my regular is a, is a deluxe fry and, and, uh, and uh, 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 medium diet. But, uh, but I, you know, the special treat for me is a milkshake. Super special treat is a hot fudge sundae or, or a root beer float. I love, I love all of those. But, I, you know, I, I eat everything. This is my job. <laughs> Test everything. So, and I love doing it. Very good. Jim Spady, president of Dick's Burgers. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Jim, I think the one thing I saw like the most is the This is Todd Yantis from Des Moines, who was out here at 4 o'clock this morning to be the first one here. What is it about Dick's Burgers that made you want to drag out in the cold at 4 a.m.? What does my shirt say? Celebrating 60 years. Bought this in the year we won the Super Bowl. So, there we go. Seahawk fan from way back when. Been eating Dick's Burgers for 53 years. And, you know, when it was so close to home this time, I couldn't miss it. Yeah, I don't really blame you. And I'm not going to lie, I have a couple of T-shirts exactly like that in my closet as well. I don't know why I'm not wearing mine today. An extra layer would have helped keep me warm out here. Uh, what's your, Todd, what's your favorite memory of coming to Dick's? Do you have any special ones? Yeah, my, my dad passed away when he was young and when I was 13 years old. And uh, they had the Lake City store. And when dad said, you want to go out and have something to eat? Where do we go? It was either Dick's or A and W. So yeah, that goes way back, way back. Good memories. And it's always good to share a memory with your dad. I see even at 10:30 in the morning, you have a chocolate shake in your hand. Is that right? This is my girlfriend's chocolate shake. Okay. This is my burger, though. So. Well, the thing I always ask people is because uh, you know Ken Schram, who worked for us for decades, loved to get a deluxe and a milk. I am a deluxe fries and chocolate shake guy. Do you have a regular when you come, or do you mix it up? Um, I'm usually French fries with the Dix Deluxe, but the grease, when you get older, you have to chill. <laughs> <laughs> You're preaching to the choir there, because I am right behind you. Todd, really appreciate that. And way to go, toughing it out to come out here at 4 a.m. Nice Thanks a you, bunch. Man. No, nice to see you. Take you. care of yourself. So that be Cairo. And now that all the pomp and ceremony is done, the real party begins. Everybody's getting burgers at 11 o'clock in the morning. Nothing wrong with an early lunch at six. The menu has changed just a little bit over the years, but not by much. Same with the prices. Jim Spady says the prices might change once a year, maybe once every two years. And in addition to now accepting credit cards and debit cards and not just cash, one of the things they've added to their menu is plain hamburgers and cheeseburgers because a lot of people uh, you couldn't eat or didn't want to eat the stuff with condiments on it and Dick's doesn't customize. So having that gives uh, more options and allows for more customers to enjoy Dick's. Now one of the things that Jim Spady was talking about today is it's not just that they put out quality food, it's that they can put it out fast, which is why they don't customize. That helps speed things up. But boy, oh boy, you want to talk about working fast. This crew is really hustling today.